continue with the opening application ESU Sideloader. This application basically simplifying otherwise difficult process of manual GSI installation. Our credit goes to the developer of the app half down for him. Ok, now go to the website which I am showing you and download the GSI of your choice. You can download and test as many as you want. Place download the GSI into your SD card. Keep in mind that download the GSI must match with your partition style and architecture of your phone. And again, if you are not sure, check application preferences. Assuming you have downloaded the GSI image and placed it to the SD card, we are going to pick up file now. I'm going to pick up GSI ROM with Google Apps install because simply I want to test it out. In next step, we are going to assign size from the user data partition. Be careful how much space you are going to allocate for the user data partition. You need to have at least 40% left after installation, otherwise process will fail. If you have less space, act accordingly and assign only what you can afford. You don't have to do anything with the GSI file size and you can test install GSI via DSU. This process will take a little bit more time so I am going to speed it up but you have to be patient. Once GSI ROM preparation is finished, you will see instruction on your screen. Make sure your phone is plugged in now and open command line window within the folder and click button tools. Type in exactly the same command as you can see on your phone screen. On your phone, finishing installation process will appear. Wait until it's finished. Now you can tap on the arrow and rest up your phone into your DSI. Your phone is now booting into the GSI ROM and the installation was successful. Just take a look on this beautiful ROM without gold that just true ROM without anything. From now on you are going to be safe direction and modify it according to your imagination. The room was full potential of your power, you are going to need a root. Root means that you are going to assign privilege control, known as root access, and I'm going to show you how. You are going to need application PHH Super User and Super User. You are going to find them in my application pack which I prepared, or Google them and download them manually.
Once Super User is installed, you are going to need to restart the phone. Your phone is going to boot up into your stock ROM, and that's ok. Just restart it again. When your phone is booted into the GSI again, follow the routing process with installation of Super User SU. To verify if routing process was successful, you can check it with the root checker. Before verifying is finished, you should see pop up this window and that also means that root access is successfully installed. And now you can make your system persistent, for example, if you want to use it as primary ROM. For that, locate Thermux on your SD card and install it. Thermux is terminal emulator for Android. Now I am going to pick up command which I have prepared in my text file and I am going to apply it. Don't be scared that you are missing something here. Just rewrite the command which you are going to see on the screen and apply it in your terminal emulator. Command which is making GSI ROM persistent is GSI tool enable. If you want to disable it, it is the same command just at the end write in disable. Here you are going to write the command and I am going to just to paste it from the clipboard. Grant permission to your Thermux and voila, your GSI ROM is now persistent. That means when you reboot your phone, it will boot back to the GSI ROM again. As I mentioned during the installation, these ROM don't have Google Apps, but also you may wanna keep it that way, and the reason behind it may be privacy. So at this point I'm just going to give you some recommendations. Very good alternative for Google Play Store is Uptrade. You should be able to find there everything you need. My another recommendation would be Blockada. This thing can simply block advertisements in majority of non-paid applications. Another feature which may be locked away from you in your original ROM is Sensors Off. It is available in Lineage OS GSI under the Developer Options. When you enable it in Quick Settings Developer Tiles, new icon in your title bar will appear. By tapping on Sensors Off, you will prevent everything from accessing to your camera and your microphone, even you. Therefore, whenever you are going to need to make a phone call, Tap on the sensors again, otherwise people will not hear you. For more information check out this website, the link will be in the description. And if this is not enough for you and you wanna dig deeper, check out these videos from these amazing YouTubers. The link will be in the description. Ok, let's wrap this up with the thing which I promised and that is testing ROM with some gaming.